I don't know if this visual scares you guys as much as it does me, but this is freaking me out with all the wires and boards and yeah, it's a mess. I thought I'd start today's episode by giving you guys a tour of what I've been up to and how it's coming along. We ended yesterday's episode looking at wiring up Rover's additional infrared sensors as well as his turbocharger right here. And as you can see, the uh, infrared sensor is still not connected, but the uh, turbocharger, the boost converter, is uh, partially wired in. So I've had to actually update quite a bit of the wiring. As you can see, there's some soldering taking place here. Um, these are the primary battery cable inputting into Rover. So this is being channeled through to the Rover's turbocharger and then over to the relay board over here, um, which is going to allow us to flip this turbocharger on and off. The turbocharger is then going to wire into one of the two RoboClaw boards here. So the way I'm going to have it function is one of, these are daisy chains um, for power as well as actually for um, signal. But in the case of power, basically we've got 12 volts coming into this board, which is daisy, ch daisy chained over to the second board. And what we're going to do is do the opposite the other way around on the 24 volts. So the turbocharger will flow 24 volts into this board, which since it's also daisy chained into this one, um, will provide power to both. So basically, if we have the 12 volts powered off to this one and we turn the 24 volts on to this one, they both get 24 volts and then vice versa. And it gives us that ability to basically run Rover's primary motors at 24 volts or 12 volts whenever we need to. While Rover's undergoing open heart surgery here, I figured I'd take care of a few other things that have been on the to-do list. So what you see here is a power module, a DC to DC um, step down converter so basically the opposite of the turbocharger and rover's already got one of these installed down in here under all that wiring mess and that's converting our 12 volts to 6 volts which we need for right now primarily the servo controller board which is over here uh, as well as the servos themselves so the servos the primary servos um, which turn rover's legs at each corner they run at 6 volts and they get their power from this board here, which is getting its power from the step-down converter. Now, the other voltage that's required within Rover is five volts. And for the most part, Rover has been delivering that through the Arduino output pins, but I don't want to exhaust the Arduinos. So we also have this secondary step-down converter, which is gonna be running our five volts for at least some of the componentry. And we need to wire this in as well. And I wanna do that via the relay board so that we can power this off and that the board itself is not running and drawing power when we don't need components that are connected to it at five volts. So even I can't believe it's been about two hours since the last thing you saw a second ago. And I think we're now finally ready to actually run a test on the new turbocharger and configure it for the 24 volts that we need. Okay, so before we actually wire up the battery and the Android brain and all that, I need to send over the command for the RoboClaw Turbo Relay to be flipped on once we do connect that stuff because that's controlled um, through the command center and I need to be over by the circuits. Um, so I'm gonna do this first and then once we connect Rover's brain, he'll pick up the command, he'll hopefully, <laughs> trigger the relay on, and then we can do our um, voltmeter testing. So I'm gonna send this over to Rover. We'll verify the status here. Yeah, and there we go. So the command has been sent over. So Rover will pick that up once we flip his brain on. So let's go do that. So I've connected up Rover's um, battery pack. He's running at 12 volts, which I think you guys can see there. And here, this is what we're gonna be testing out with the voltmeter. Um, the turbocharger. So basically I'm going to be adjusting this brass screw that you see here and verifying uh, that the output voltage is 24 volt boosted from our 12 volts input. I'm going to connect up Rover's Android tablet which is off to the side here um, to the USB and hopefully that flips the relay that we just set that will deliver power to this turbocharger and then we'll do our test. Okay so I'm going to connect up the USB cable for Rover's Android brain 
we don't seem to be getting any power. Yeah, there's no power to the board. So I may have the wrong relay. Okay, so yeah, I did um, cross a few wires and nothing, <laughs> nothing blew up yet. Um, but basically I mixed up some of the new relays that I connected up. Um, so if we do a refresh now on the command center form and we go over to settings, um, basically, the I had this third one set as the RoboCloud Turbo, and it's actually the, the first one. Um, the third one is the 5-volt power module. So what we'll do now is we'll flip on that one, and I'll run over <laughs> and we'll um, check that. I've read on some of the forums that with this boost um, converter, some people have experienced a cap, uh, like a, a capacitor popping. Um, and I think that it has something to do with the voltage, the input voltage, initial input voltage being too high and the output setting being too low. But I can't find any reference anywhere online as to what the default settings are. So yeah, I basically act quickly, I guess. I'm gonna unplug the power, the battery in case something looks wrong. Um, fingers crossed. Okay, power's on. So we're getting out at 12 volts. So it looks like the out is the same as the in. From what I've read online, uh, we turn the pentometer, uh, this brass dial here clockwise in order to increase the output voltage. So I'll give it a half turn. Nothing's happening. I'll try going the other direction. So I need to do some research because nothing I do seems to change anything. So let me look online and see if I can find out why. So I've double checked as much as I can and I've done everything correctly. Um, I have found another person reporting the same issue where you turn the pentometer and nothing happens. So I've contacted the um, DF robot, which, which are the makers of the board, to see if they can point me in the right direction or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a defective board. But uh, one way or the other, I'm kind of at a standstill as far as the turbocharger goes. So I guess we'll have to move on to some other project in the meantime. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I was kind of really hoping to see uh, see that in action, as well as to see what the motors look like when they operate at 24 volts. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I guess we're playing the waiting game for now. I'm trying to bounce back from my defeat earlier today and tackling the mounting of the side sensors, the infrared sensors from Sharp. So I've got one mounted here and one here. It took a little bit of doing in order to kind of fit it on because of the other mounting that I have there to support the arm. Um, but I think it should work and should not spark, <laughs> fingers crossed. So I've got to actually wire it in and that's gonna take a little bit of planning on my part because I want it to wire in on the Uno and the Uno literally only has two, pin, two pins, two pins left open. Um, it's completely filled up as far as the digital pins, which are the most valuable. So I think I can make it work um, before moving on to filling up the mega board. So that's kind of my next step. And then of course, it's updating the, the programming to take advantage of those side sensors, which I'm quite excited about because it means Rover can evaluate the distance to walls on either side. And hopefully I can figure out how to program that in such a way that he can adjust as he's rolling down a hallway in order to stay in the middle of the hallway. So if you find that as cool as I do, subscribe to stay tuned, give us a thumbs up, use the comments down below on YouTube or over on Rover's site. We'd love to hear from you, comments, questions, suggestions, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.